Hey there, Doc. Dr. Scott Doherty coming to you from the beaches of Malibu today, which uh, is kind of fitting. Ankle deep in water here and just got crashed by a wave. Uh, kind of fitting with what I want to talk about today because I want to talk about uh, lifestyle design, practice design. Uh, and this is my lifestyle design. This is what I designed my uh, consulting practice to allow me to do, to go to beautiful places in the country and uh, enjoy the scenery and, and get to see the entire country. So. Uh, I designed my practices to meet my lifestyle at the time, and, and now my consulting practice is no different. And it just kind of comes into uh, what I'm working with with my client here uh, in in this area is they're stuck in a place where they feel a little burnout. Uh, their practice isn't quite what they want it to be because they basically took what came to them. I hope you can hear me today with the waves crashing around me coming at me here. Uh, I know it's probably pretty loud. I'm using my iPhone because I didn't have any place to set up my camera. Uh, anyways, this this doc is just frustrated. Uh, you know, He's got a practice that he didn't design. It just kind of happened to him. He took what came to him and he didn't bother designing a practice, manufacturing a practice. Uh, and it's something that I recommend highly. If you haven't read the book, uh, The 4-Hour Workweek by T Tim Ferriss, I highly recommend it. Even though, you know, we're not going to necessarily do a four-hour work week if we're in practice with chiropractic, it's still good concepts about lifestyle design and about uh, thinking first about what you want your practice to look like. Uh, again, I've done that with my life here and, and has created these opportunities for me, and, and you can do it in your practice. I've done it myself many times and seen uh, countless uh, clients do the exact same thing. So this client in particular uh, has a certain way he wants to practice and a certain client he wants to see. and. Because they weren't coming to him naturally, he gave up on that. Uh, he hasn't uh, really made an effort to attract that kind of client. But usually when you put that energy out in the universe, uh, it will come back to you. So as soon as he starts taking that uh, initiative and in, in designing his practice the way that he wants to practice, uh, behaving the way he wants to behave and seeing the people he wants to see and tracking them in there, he will get more of them. Uh, he will end up getting the dream practice that he's, he's always wanted. And you can do the same thing. So if you've, you know, bought a practice or you worked with a, a consulting group and they kind of put systems in your place that, that you don't necessarily agree with, it's time to change those. It's time to look ahead and, and think about what you want to come into work to do every day, who you want to work with. Uh, and that seems kind of cliche. A lot of a lot of people will tell you that, but really do it. Take the time. Uh, set some time aside on a weekend, a couple hours, and, and think about what you want your practice to look like. Get to work creating that. Uh, you'll have a lot more fun in practice. You'll end up making a lot more money. You'll help more people. Uh, and Like I said, to just be happier and, and enjoy what you do a lot more. So that's your tip today. Look forward to talking to you next time. Uh, I might go uh, do a little body surfing here. Beautiful.